Samples. Where are you? I search you, but I have to dig through folders even after I search to find you within folders of folders and folders. But you're in there. My kick drum with spaghetti sauce. I want you now. Do I have to dig? Hey, this is Matt from The Second Spirit. I'm going to show you a quick tip to find that sample without having to dig through folders even after you search it. <music> Okay, so this is how I would normally look for samples is I have my samples on external drive and I would have them in my places in Ableton over here on the left. I go to samples and then uh, let's say I have uh, a cymatic sample I like called uh, laser kick. I know it's called that. I used it before. Okay, so now I found it. It's in this folder, which is in this folder, in this folder, in that folder. So it took like three or four clicks to get to it, which cymatic is good for for labeling their folders like this it's really helpful but there is an easier way to get to them um, in Ableton just by setting it up as a collection so what I've done is all my samples are in a collection and I've made them yellow or orange so what I do is watch this I go laser kick all right there you go laser kick boom there they are see how much faster that was I didn't have to click through folders to get to the, the sample. So how do you do that? How do you put it into a collection? I'll show you how. Go up here to the left on the top. If you don't see any colors here, click edit and make sure they're checked here. This adds them to the collection section there. If they're not added, then you won't see them. So check those and you can rename them how you like. But once you have them in here, each number corresponds to them. So this is one, two, three, four, and so on. So if I'm on something I want to add to a collection, I just push that number to add it to the collection. So let's say I was in my samples and I wanted to add these to a collection. Let's see, drum loops. I can select all these, then push, uh, actually my samples collection is number two. So I push two and see how I made them all orange right there. Now they're all searchable in that collection. Hey, keep watching. I got more tips coming up for you. I just want to let you know I'm giving away a free Ableton keyboard shortcuts PDF. I'll show you how at the end of the video how to get that. So keep watching. I got more tips. If I go to samples here, these are all my samples I've added to the collection. And they can be from different areas, different folders and stuff like that. But it's a good idea to have them on one hard drive. Uh, I don't know. It's up to you. But I'm going to show you why in a second. But I have thousands and thousands of samples in this collection. Now, it is a little time consuming to add them. But once you do it, this is the cool thing. And you have it on an external drive. And if you have your Ableton user library on an external drive, if you move that drive to another computer, it's going to actually still have all those collection, those samples in that collection. Whatever you put into a collection is going to transfer to the new computer because it's in the user library. It's a, it's an Excel file in the, it's like a, a table file in the uh, user library that will transfer with your user library. So if you have your user library in your samples and other stuff on one external hard drive, if you take that to a new computer with Ableton, it's actually going to remember all those collections for you. So you won't ever have to do it again. And it can do thousands. I've, I've added thousands and thousands of samples to that library. So, and the other cool thing about collections is you can add things from different areas. I'm doing MIDI clips over here. I got audio plugins. Just different stuff. You can rename them here too by pushing rename. And that's how you add them to a collection. Now it is a little time consuming to do, but I think it might t save you time at the end. How do I know which samples to add, which ones I haven't added? So here's a little trick to do that. Let's say uh, I just bought a whole bunch of new samples from Cymatics. Where do I know how to, which ones I need to add? So if you sort through here, if you go to your samples folder, and if you sort here and you go to date modified and push that, it's going to go by dates when these samples were added. So if you find that some of these samples aren't added, you would just go back to where the last part place is where you did add them. So for me, I think it was right here. And see, see, these are all orange. I added this pack already. So now I think it's this pack here. It's on the seventh. Yep, I need to add these. So I could just start adding these by clicking, pushing two. But sometimes it, it doesn't do them all. I don't know why. There we go. Sometimes it takes a couple times to get it to go through. Now those are all added. So they will end up in my collection. 
and I just have to do that with the rest of the sample packs I added. I just bought a whole bunch for Black Friday, so <laughs> I got some work to do. But that does make them easier to get to. So hopefully you can use these collections to better organize your samples and make the search so much faster without having to dig through folders. Hopefully this helped you out. Leave some comments if you have anything else you want me to talk about with Ableton. Um, I'd love to help you guys out if I can. Please subscribe if you haven't. Give a like to this video if it helps speed up your workflow or helped you learn something with Ableton. And thanks again for watching, everyone. Hey, I put some links in the description for you. I got the Cymatics links. Check out their samples. They're great, and what they're doing for the industry is great. They're doing all kinds of cool stuff. They got a podcast to check out. They got samples. They got uh, some networking events. So check them out, Cymatics.fm. Cymatics.fm. And then, um, so I got that link. I also got a link to Ableton's Guide on Collections. So check that out. And also, if I don't have a card for my free PDF of Ableton keyboard shortcuts, it's um, in the description. So feel free to check that out. It's free. And this is Matt from The Second Spirit signing out. Have a good night.